hello everyone greetings wherever you are and thank you for joining us today uh before i start off i wish to thank open group for giving us the opportunity to come and share with you all the it fight transformation journey that we have lived through uh can we have the slides please can you move to the next slide okay i believe everyone here in the audience and everyone listening to this would have some point of time would have either heard of unilever or would have used a, pro a unilever product as a consumer so to help you all we are one of the world's largest consumer packaged or a cpg company driven by a strong purpose to make sustainable living commonplace next slide please unilever as an organization has a very big presence is present in nearly every country of the world touching around lives of one in every three people across the globe uh, we have a very strong portfolio of brands with 13 of our brands have in an annual turnover of over a billion euros all of which is driven by our highly diverse and inclusive workforce of around 148000 employees globally uh, next one please and before i move ahead i just wanted to pause here and give a give you a glimpse of some of the world favorite brands that we represent uh, across the globe next one please okay so by now you would have understood that our business is driven by our product portfolio focusing around home care personal care beauty and well-being ice cream and nutrition but the organization within unilever which ensures that these product portfolios run and remain competitive in the marketplace is called unilever operations or as we call internally as uniops unilever is a very highly purpose driven organization and as such uniops purpose is also to enable a future fit business and how do we do it we serve it in three parts the first part provides the muscle like the tools and technologies to run the organization the second is to bring in industry best processes and systems to power the company's growth and the third is to provide the fuel to grow by saving both time and money for the organization next slide please and this is not the all there is this is just to give you a glimpse of the several transformation agendas that are being driven within the uniop organization in the areas of technology process simplification and data driven decision the it for it transformation journey which i am going to take you through today is one such transformation agenda cutting across the areas of technology and process simplification can we next slide please and before i start moving a bit deeper into the genesis of the journey we went through i would like to start off with the belief with which this journey started focusing on making the it faster easier to use being resilient and all of this happening at a lower cost and risk and with this belief i will take you now to the to a glimpse of the journey we have lived through can we have next slide please this is the journey which started more than 2 years ago and the opportunities as we went through this presented to us from the unilever's it topology focusing around how uh, how it for it uh, tools uh, are covered in our landscape how we can simplify them how their landscape management and fulfillment can be done better and how we can find opportunities on sweating the assets and reducing our cost can we next slide please to deliver on these opportunities we took us very step by step approach and how we started off is we first started by inheriting the it for it reference architecture 
and then flexing it to suit our internal structure and taxonomy. The beauty about the IT for IT reference architecture is the flexibility it offers. The name itself suggests the reference it provides to organizations and how well they can inherit it to the way they want to make the transformation around. We as Unilever did the same. We took guidance from reference architecture and flexed it based on how we wanted to, based on the internal structure and how we wanted to operate it. We then went about a very, very systematic approach to digital transformation in which we aligned our technology needs to our strategic technology choices, or as we call internally, them as destinations, technology destinations. Not only technology transformation, we also ensured that these technologies along with the underlying processes gets housed under the right ownership, helping enable a focused management and delivery of IT for IT. Last but not the least, we also brought in a well-defined operating model along with a governance process to ensure the transformation delivers its value and derives the internal objectives. Kevin, next one, please. In the last two and a half years, the IT fight transformation journey within Uniop has come through a long way. What started from building the foundation around IT for IT reference architecture, the, 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 the focus around them and, and everything and the rationalization principles which we used to solving the low hanging fruit to driving the core strategic initiatives within Unilever as of today. The outcomes have been multifold, and these outcomes have resulted in centralization of the technologies under defined ownership, all of which is getting well executed under a well-defined operating and supported by a strong governance mechanism. We're constantly pushing our boundaries with the aim to enhance the user journeys for IT processes and delivering an enriched end user experience. Maybe next one, please. The IT for IT journey, which we have done within Unilever, has not only delivered its aim of digital transformation, but is also generating tactical shifts in driving our technology simplification. This is fueled by our strategic choices and empowered by a deep acceptance of the IT for IT culture within the organization. The early fruits of success, which we are witnessing today, have propelled us to work on our overall technology strategy and meet our business objectives. Our aim is to become a market leader in driving technology transformation and also helping our business reach its end. Next one, please. With this, I come to the end of my presentation and I would like to thank you all for being such patient listeners. It was an absolute privilege to speak with you all and to share with you all the journey which we have lived through. Thank you.